Hello, hello, Angel Powers. Boom, boom, boom. Esos es Angelica Ortiz, with Angelica Empowers, and Rosenberg. I know I do the Spanglish because I had to say. No, that one was good. Esta es. I think I said in Spanish. No, no? you said it correctly. Oh. You just yelled at my ear. That's <laughs> why I made that face. Okay, if you are live with us, type one in the comments. If you are in replay because you don't see the red box in the corner, type two. And if you're new to see our faces, type new. It's that simple. That way we can welcome you into our lives. Yes, so true. So why we think social media videos and network marketing are so powerful? Well, first of all, Everybody, happy new year, yeah, you know? Happy new year. Second of all, everybody during this time of the year, we're trying to figure out what this coming year is gonna be like, and we're gonna compare it with previous years and things like that, and that's what we were doing. We were working on that uh, here at our dining table, and we were mapping things out, writing things out, and we actually went back to a video that was done on social media, on Angelica's, uh, Facebook. Uh, it was a video that we share as a watch party and it showed Angelica talking about how 2016 was for us mm -hmm. and then but we were looking forward to uh, 2017. So that's where the idea of like hey this is very powerful. Having done that video, uh -huh. having social media. Oh and by the way that video is funny you guys definitely check it out because we see people in 2016 ringing in 2017 like amazed about what she was doing because uh -huh. Facebook Live wasn't like a big thing uh -huh. and she was on Facebook Live. And, and, and people was thinking that I was walking in the restaurant taking a selfie. Yeah, because she also had her, her phone on a selfie stick so people were like, oh, let's do a selfie. Oh, no, I'm not doing a selfie. I'm actually doing a live video. And they're like, what? Live video? Hey, Carrie. And this, well, you gotta watch the video, but this guy was like, so who are you talking to? And she was like, I have a friend in North Carolina and a friend in Colombia. And he was like, really? Both at the same time? He was like, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, you gotta watch it. It's uh, set up as a watch party uh, on her timeline. Yeah, we might rerun it again. But... Ay, no tiene sonido. Because we're charging this? No. Carrie, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear us? Can you hear me? <laughs> this is messed up because what is this about Julie Williams can you hear me Judy no yeah you can hear us they don't have sound oh okay yeah. yes great thank you okay so social media for me is amazing because you can share a message and a lot of people can listen to you you can share that video to a group to to your Facebook and more people can listen to your message. I can hear you. Awesome. Thank awesome. you, Carrie. Thank you, Jury. Okay, so going back to December 2016 and watch my video, listen to my thoughts, my my processing, like how was 2016? Mm -hmm. I started the video in English and then only people who speak Spanish show up. So I started speaking in Spanish and then someone show up in English and then I start speaking in English. So it was so funny. And then the interaction with the people in the restaurant because they didn't know anything about social media, Facebook Live. Right. And, and this was just three years ago, three short uh -huh, years ago. Three so years it's amazing ago. just to see that evolution. And I in that video a lot of people were happy and interacting because it seems that it was new uh -huh. and it was like, Oh, this is so cool. But now people are so scared to comment in a video. So if you are here type one because you are right now with us if you're on replay type two and if you're new to see our faces you type new in the comments so that's the power of social media that we can share this message and then you can go back five years ten yeah. years and then watch what was going on during that time you know my my purple hair i don't know what's gonna happen in five years i don't know about this yeah, I'm, uh, yeah hair. it's gonna be probably you know, larger or smaller, I don't know, who, who knows? Who knows? So, 
for me in 2016 it was the year that I started doing my writing my goals like having a like a pause in my life and see what happened during that year and then making plans for the next yeah. year and I am very thankful for network marketing because going through those seminars listen to those people they taught me to do this so if, if you don't know network marketing is actually considered one of the biggest biggest personal development industries yes we do sell products we do go to seminars for 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 understanding our products or services or services but we learn a lot about personal development about you people about understanding ourselves about understanding other people and it's amazing uh, if, if you're in the right company because some other companies they don't do it as much but if, you, if you're in the correct company you're gonna be surrounded by people that are gonna push you to do better that are gonna you know show you how to do um, a vision board that are gonna show you how to set up your goals, your personal goals, your one year goal, your five year goals, your your ten year goals to map out your 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 whole life, like things that you like, things that you don't like, your money goals, your fitness goals, your health goals, marriage anything. goals, marriage goals, everything. Now this one is one that that I I started working with her, and we brought it out, but people can do. Like the actual like vision boards like cut out from magazines, things that they, they dream of. And you have to dream big. You don't be scared about dreaming big, which is what was holding us back a lot uh, before network marketing. Like we have had heard maybe a few things here and there, but nothing as big as what network marketing has taught us. Uh, granted, if, you, if you're surrounded with the right people, not necessarily people that are network marketing, you may learn some of these things. A lot of the people that are into fitness, they learn that. Um, because obviously fitness is a process and health is a process and you have to set goals uh, and whatnot uh, so I'm not sure what else you wanted to share so for me I was so afraid to share my goals I was so afraid to tell the world this is what I want to do next year uh, I when I joined the Air Force I didn't tell people hey I'm going to basic training I'm gonna be away for two months yeah. uh, don't text me I didn't tell the world because I was so afraid what about if I failed I had to tell people hey I didn't pass the test I didn't pass the physical test I was so afraid. Now I don't care because I love to fail because I'm gonna learn a lesson that is gonna help me grow and then apply that lesson in the future. So I'm okay. I wanna be a billionaire, okay? Yes. Before I was so afraid to say, no, I, I not even thought about it to be a millionaire or a billionaire. I was like, I'm gonna work mm -hmm. all my life and I'm gonna save money for my golden years. Yeah, like, like most people, they only dream of um, having six figure income. They only dream of that. You know, why, why settle for six figure? You know, mm -hmm. settling for six figures, just like settling for, for regular life, average life. Nowadays, there's more people making six figures than there was years back. So why settle for for the average now? And, Six and figures now, is almost the you average. Know, even teenagers are making one million dollars with social media or selling something that they can do with their hands or singing. Who knows? YouTube. So there is so many ways to be a millionaire nowadays with social media. Yes, so. the the owner of the company that we're with, uh, he actually says there's a million ways to earn a million dollars. So just imagine that. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, we are not done with, with our review for the last decade or for the last um, year even. Uh, there's tons of notes that Angelica has been taken. Um, but as we go back to like the decade, uh, we've been doing it in chronolo chronological order. And, and, and when we found that video uh, that, we, that, we put, that we shared as a Facebook watch, there was things in there that we were like, oh yeah. That year we did that too, or that year that happened too, that you know put us down and made us realize certain things. So we may have to like look back at some of the other years, uh -huh. but definitely a lot of stuff for us started happening once we joined network marketing. Mm -hmm. 
and when we started sharing our story and social media mm -hmm. because we we don't have good memories there's so many things going on in your life but then when you go back to that video and you're like oh wow that's what i did that day that's what i did that year mm -hmm. i shared my thanksgiving dinner with these particular people and we were having a good time so mm -hmm. i love 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 videos and if you if you see my news feed is videos 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 because i want to be 90 years old and go back and see how was angelica when i was 41. <laughs> I want to see and like going back to those videos I can see the way I was talking if I was talking with my hands if it was walking moving if I was watching the camera mm -hmm. I I love to see that transformation yes so don't be scared about the camera because we're talking to people every single day and if you're so afraid and you had to get used to first you can do a live video only for you you can change the setting the to, settings. to whether you want it public friends of friends just friends or just, or just you. only you you can do that so you can practice and then when now uh, when you feel ready to turn it on to public you can just switch it to public uh -huh. like what we did with a video that's out there of me dancing behind angelica uh-huh yes okay. that's something else <laughs> yes so the point for this video is to share with you that it's okay to fail it's okay to write your goals even if they're so big that's okay but what's more important is to write down those goals and see them every single day yes and and not not put it on your phone no you paper. not you put it on paper write it down put it big you know, we're, like we, we shared before, we're reading this uh, book called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. He actually says, set your goals and the things you want to accomplish on sticky uh, notes and put it on your mirror. And that will be your accountability mirror, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of what we want to do also with social media. We want you guys to be our accountability mirror. Uh, so we know, hey, we, we, we put this out to, to the world because this is the world. Everybody's watching us. And... We want the world to know that we're gonna we're gonna work on, on our goals and we're gonna deliver our, our, our you know the things that we said we we're gonna do. Okay, so why I love network marketing again in our team, our leader is pushing us always to be better. Mm -hmm. So right now we have the homework. We had to write down what are our goals for January and mm -hmm. for the new decade. It's like ten years. What are you gonna accomplish? in the new decade mm -hmm. it's 10 years people so you do baby steps yeah. to conquer your big dream yeah. it's not gonna happen in six months no we had to work in our dreams every single day yeah. every yeah. single day and like you some of you may have heard it before um for things to change you have to change you know if you want things to get better you have to get better uh that's one of my not personal mentors but it's my video and podcast mentors Eric Worry says that quite a bit and he learned it from uh, Jim Rome as well um, the other thing that we've some most people have heard this before uh, what's the definition of uh, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results mm -hmm. so. so if you sit down with your notebook and pen and then you realize that the last year or the last decade you have done the same thing over and over again and you complain why my life is the same it's because you're doing the same thing right and and you know just to piggyback on that when we were doing the uh the chronological order here you know 2010 11 12 and so forth you know we started noticing that it wasn't until again not just to continue to hammer down on, on network marketing but it wasn't really until network marketing that things started changing for us i mean <laughs> you can see it right here it's like one liner one liner one liner boom 2014 double lines triple lines and things like that like we started doing stuff we started hustling we started taking action so and, and we step about no, we, we learned that fear is going to stop you mm -hmm. to do so many things. So I start personally, start working and my fears, my fears, it makes me cry. 
it makes me feel so bad when I think about my past and the things that I didn't do because fear was around me all the time. The word fear was in my mouth every single day. Yeah. So when I, I start reading, when I start going to seminars and I find out it's okay to fail, it's okay not to be perfect. I was like, that's hope for me because I was a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do so many things because I was like, I don't know how to do that. I'm not gonna do it because it's not gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. And here's another thing, we, we, this year we wanna share a lot of our story uh, because we come from humble beginnings, just like many of you do. Uh, we weren't, you know, we didn't grow up in a, in, you know, in a mansion or anything like that. Um, how do you say we, we weren't raised in a silver platter I think that's what they said um, we weren't raised like that we came from humble beginnings we came from a third world country um, single mothers single mothers we, we shared that a uh, few few weeks ago um, so that's going to be coming more this, this year we're revealing more of our story so that you can relate with us uh, now we're not saying we're successful we're extremely successful we are millionaires nothing like that but we have had some success, success that you can have as well. Uh, and we're working on getting that, you know, the other level of success. So we want you guys to be witnesses of, of that level of success as we mature, as we grow, we can grow together. We, we are open to helping anyone that wants to be helped. Yes. You know, that's the key that, that wants to be helped. We're not gonna try to drag you and, and make you change. But if you're willing to help, uh, to, to receive the help, you're willing to change. Raise your hand. Just raise your hand. We wanna help you. Um, by helping you, you're helping us so we can grow as well. So there's gonna be, yeah, this year is, 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 is gonna be amazing. And it's gonna be more changes for us in our lives, more challenges, Correct. and we're ready for them. Yes. Because we learned that when we want big things, we had to go through storms, mm -hmm. huge storms. So we are ready for 2020, for the new decade. If you want some guidance, if you wanna come with us to a training, we can give you the information. Uh, the next training that we have is in April, Texas. It's going to be in Texas. In Texas. Yes. You said some, you combine words, you say April, Texas. Okay, okay. <laughs> Next training is in Dallas. It's at the beginning of April in Dallas, Texas. And it's a lot of personal development, a lot of community based marketing, wow. um, a lot of love, um, a lot of mothers that are, are, are going to be there uh, that are, are doing. You know they're growing from home while taking care of their kids um, they're you know starting businesses uh, and so forth so uh, it's, it's gonna be amazing uh, we definitely want you guys to, to come um, as many as, as we can bring uh, so let us know if you're interested in this um, you know you can raise your hand here you can send that send me a message through whatsapp through messenger just communicate and say, I need help, I need guidance, I need to set my goals, I don't know what to do. I have helped so many people with the keto journey because there's so much information and we get overwhelmed, like I don't know how to start keto. So I just give them the basics. And it's the same thing with goal setting, just the basics. Are we experts? No. no. Are we still making mistakes? Yes. yes. Are we still procrastinating on some things? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, believe me, it's not, it's not easy, but it's simple, and we just have to be consistent. And with our help, you helping us, uh, we can definitely move along on this uh, journey, uh, progress little by little. You know, it just takes one percent of doing something. You know, one every step day, at a time. Every, every day. day. Consistent. Every day. Every day. So. 
So I think that's the message for today. If you have questions, let us know. If you are watching us live right now, type one. If you are on replay, type two. If you're new to see our faces, type no in the comments. If you wanna share this video, feel free. You don't have to ask for permission. If you see something else in my Facebook and you wanna share, go ahead. That's why my Facebook is public, period, okay? Mm, carry one yes woo, woo. <laughs> and we're running a marathon this year too woo. oh yeah that's, that's part of the uh that's the part of the goals right here that's this, part of the year. challenge too so yeah. many challenges for this year okay so we love you thank you for tuning in and we'll see you tomorrow Bye. yes this thank is you. angelica ortiz with angelica empowers and rosenberg we'll see you guys Ciao. thank you for coming in bye, bye.